Welcome everybody to a the first video on this new channel that I'm going to be doing, um, Yuki Collects. Um, if you come over from my main channel, Studio Yuki, um, this is a channel that I'm testing out, trying to see if I like the, the concept or the overall theme, because um, I've been really into this whole genre of content creation lately, and I figured I'd try my hand at it. So today we're going to be opening up Maze of Memories from... Um, it is the most recent collector set, I believe, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, now, I haven't like actively played the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG in a long time, except for Master Duel. Um, but if you follow me on Twitch, then you know I live stream Yu-Gi-Oh Forbidden Memories pretty regularly. And um, yeah, I figured it would just be really fun to do like a uh, sort of unboxing and see how uh, I like it, because um, I have not done this before. So um, today we're just going to do a box. I have two boxes of Maze of Memories, um, actually, but for right now I think I'm just going to open up one um, and save the other one for a future video. Um, the reason why I'm jumping in now and doing these uh, right now is because it's the 25th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh! and we are going to be getting five reprint sets from... Uh, you know, back in the day. So it's going to be The Legend of Blue Eyes up to Pharaoh Servant, I believe. Um, and I am going to be doing all of those boxes on this channel at some point. Um, but mainly I'm super excited for on the 28th, there is going to be um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus, or Duelist Nexus, which is the newest core set in the series, uh, which is a world premiere archetype. There's going to be, um, there's a lot of quarter century rares, including... Um, the, uh, there's a brand new card, that, it's a quarter century rare that is made specifically for the event. Um, and it is a magician, I'll show it on screen here. But um, yeah, I want to be a part of the people that looks for it and pulls it. Um, but yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into the box. Um, I didn't uh, plan this out very well, so I don't really have a uh, knife or anything on me. Let's open up the plastic wrap here. I did used to um, buy, where the heck is, all right, you know what, pulling out the keys. Pulling out the keys. Uh, I did used to open up uh, trading card sets back in the day, not on channel, but um, I played Card Fight Vanguard um, semi-professionally. Um, like, not professional, but I, I played in the tournaments, and I went to, like, New York City and played in their tournaments and uh, kind of traveled all around, uh, and it was a lot of fun. I had a Bermuda Triangle deck. That was my deck, but um, that's a very expensive deck, uh, and I bought it all from opening uh, packs, not buying... I didn't buy any singles. I just bought them all from packs. I spent, like, 600 bucks on a tournament-ready deck, but... This is it. This is Maze of Memories. Um, I have never opened a booster box from Yu-Gi-Oh, so I think it's just like that. And then we pull it back, and there it is. Look at that. It's almost like I'm a, a freaking prodigy here. All right. First set. Um, seven cards per pack. Let's just get into the pull, shall we? I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, um, but let's get into it. I don't know how to open packs. I'm sorry, I'm very new. Sorry, I am new here. There we go, look at that. Look at, I don't know pack tricks, so we're going to kind of use this first pack as a, um, yeah, that's just going to go right there, I guess. Um, we're going to use this first pack as kind of like a guide to, to figure it out, but, so anyway, we've got um, Red Eye Soul. Uh, Ririoku Guardian, that's the Ririoku retrain. Gate Guardian of Wind and Water is our super. Uh, Blackwing, Chaos Form, Rick of Petal, and that card. Okay, so it looks like it's three from the front, um, I believe is where the super is. So we pulled a super in the first thing, which I don't think is guaranteed. It might be, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but it is exciting. I haven't, I didn't get my sleeves. I probably should have pulled my sleeves out, but that's okay. Um... We take those, we take those. Um, let me set this guy right over here, I think is fine. All right, next, next pack. Oh my God, they make this look so easy. Oh, probably because it is easy and I'm just dumb, which is very possible. So I believe it's one, two, three from the back. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa, okay, we've got a Gate Guardian. Oh my God, these are so nostalgic. It's like I haven't opened up Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a very, very long time. So this is really cool. Um, Gate Guardian, Photon Orbital. Uh, we've got Shadow Ghoul, Labyrinth Wall. There's a nice little, uh, oops. That's a nice little um, callback to, uh, what's it called? Forbidden Memories, you know, that's a card that's in there. Um, we've got Deep Dark Trap Hole, Mech Knight, and Psybeast, which is also one of the collector's rares in this set for some reason. Um, but all right, yeah, I guess it is guaranteed a uh, super. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's um, a little awkward for me, I guess, right now, because this is my first time ever doing a video like this, but I'm very excited. I actually, fun fact, um, since this is a brand new channel, um, and this was actually a video that I never released before, but I do have a video um, that I did record back when I was in high school, um, because I was like, you know, this is back before Yu-Gi-Oh! opening channels were like a huge thing, but I uh, somehow found a volume one uh, pack um, from eBay, and it was a OCG volume one pack, Time to stand up, Angel of Blue Tears. Um, and I opened it and I filmed it. Um, and I, they were all original cards. I'm pretty sure those packs are like hella expensive, but I found it for 20 bucks. Um, and Labyrinth Shadow Wall and a Solemn Judgment. Holy crap, that actually is a pretty good pull. Um, damn, what a nice super. I don't know, I'm gonna have the um, money totals in the bottom left if you guys didn't already tell. But um, Solemn Judgment, that's actually a really good card. Um, so we're gonna see if we make our money back. I forget how much each of these boxes cost, but um, Yu-Gi-Oh boxes are a lot more expensive than I remember. I'll tell you that right now. But anyway, yeah, I uh, opened a whole set. Uh, it was, a, or not a whole set, a whole pack. It was one pack from the first uh, volume of Yu-Gi-Oh in the OCG. Um, and one, two, three. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was really cool. Um, I wish I would have uh, kept that video somewhere because I cannot find it for the life of me. But um, it was super interesting. Uh, I didn't pull a foil, unfortunately, but they had like Monster Born in that set or some shit, uh, which would have been worth a lot of money if I had actually pulled it. Um, so we've got that. We got Sui Jin. We got Cost Down. Really good card. See, I'm glad I chose Maze of Memories for my first video on this channel because I do like this set. It is very like nostalgic and fun, I think. Chaos Form, Sangha of the Thunder, Nimble Angler, and another of the... Guys, I know I'm a little late on the uh, Maze of Memories, but out of all the sets they had at the store, this was the only one that I like, kind of like was into. Um, I forget which other ones they had, but um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And I, uh, I'm really glad I went with it. I'm glad I went with two boxes too, because then, you know, uh, I feel like it'd be really fun. But uh, I get the hype on these channels now. Um, actually sitting here and opening up packs, fucking fun as shit. Last time I did something like this was on Twitch. I did a live stream of, um, what was it, Pokemon? Um, I was opening up Pokemon packs. Like I got drunk and opened Pokemon packs on Twitch. Um, and that was really cool. Super Soldier Ritual, Sui Jin, Cost Down, Ricka Glamour. Wait a minute. Is that an Ultra? Oh my god, that's our Ultra. We just got an Ultra Rare. Whoa, okay. Um, yeah. Money total at the bottom, I guess. So wait, I... Hold on. I'm so confused. I guess the Hollow is, like, just in the middle somewhere? I don't know. That was weird. Pack tricks are very, um, hard to understand, I guess. I also didn't realize that this set had Mech Knights in it, which is pretty cool. I've actually grown really fond of the Mech Knight cards. Um... Yeah, we've got a whole, we got a lot left to do still. Um, we have a uh, Rick of Glamour. I don't know what that card goes for. Um, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Ruxin34 on YouTube. He's kind of my inspiration for starting this. Um, but um, yeah, it, it's like, you know, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not super knowledgeable on all of it just yet, but um, this creepy little punk, um, man. There's a story on that card that I'll have to talk about in a future video, but uh, I do think about that card a lot. Overload Fusion, Ancient Fairy Dragon with the Errata, very cool, very cool. Um, and then a Wind-Up Kitten, another Ultra Rare, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely messing this pack trick up somehow. 
Um, I guess if it's a uh, ultra, it's just in the the like in the middle of the pack, I guess. I don't know, but a uh, wind up kit and ultra rare, not bad. I will take that. I will take that. Um, yeah, these cards. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. This is so cool. I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm very happy with my decision so far. This is really neat. I'm very excited. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's going to turn out amazing. We still have a lot of packs to go through. Um, so I don't know how long this video is going to go. But I was like, oh, I can just open up uh, two boxes on one, up one video. It'd be fine. Um, so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just like keep doing what I was doing before. Maybe it's like four from the back. Let's try that. I think it's four from the back. All right, we got another Red Eyes Soul. Um, Mech Knight Yellow Star, Spellbook of Fate. I am not good at this. Um, let's see here. Dark, Double Thing, Royal Battle, Baron Utopia, and Mudan Fairy. Was there any super in that pack? Or in that, uh, did we get anything in that pack? Oh, we got Spellbook of Fate. Okay, I didn't even see that. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll figure out the pack trick as we move along here. Um, I don't know if there's like a specific thing I'm doing wrong or what, but I'll figure it out. I hope you guys are indeed enjoying this um, thing. Let's just go like just straight up. Um, Gate Guardian, this creepy little punk. There's our super. Eisel, the Sylvan High Protector. I don't know. Um, Shadow, dude, another cards. Um, yeah, I don't know, because it feels like when it's a super, it's like three from the front, but when it's an ultra, it's somewhere else. So, I don't know. And I don't know if, like, when you, I don't think when you get an ultra, I don't think you also get a super, so. We're looking for those collector's rares, though. We want Gate Guardian Collector Rare. I don't know what the price is on that guy now, but. We've got a Red Eye Soul. Suijin. Number 39, Utopia Rising, is a super rare. Um, Labyrinth Wall, Court of Justice, thing, and the future. Okay, so there's gotta be a thing I'm doing wrong here. Maybe I should just do three from the back and then, or three from the front? I don't know. I don't know. But let's keep going. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for, I guess, the 28th. So, two weeks, a little over two weeks from now, when we get, uh, Nexus. Um, because when we get Nexus, we will, um, absolutely be opening a lot of those boxes because I want to try and pull that quarter century magician card. Maybe. Reveal the Guardian, Photon Orbital. Also, if you guys see any cuts in this video, that's just from me, uh, like, waiting for the Baron de Fleur Ultra Rare. Holy shit. That's a pricey boy. That is a fucking card. Oh my god, I love Baron de Fleur. That thing is sick. It was so fun to play a Master Duel. Oh my god, that thing is crazy. I love that. Deep Dark Thing, Royal Degree, Move Down the Rick of Fairy. Okay. Also, I think, I want to look at condition on this guy real quick. Um, it looks really good. I, I'm not the best at the eye for this stuff. I think the centering's pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, the edges in the corner, it's pack fresh. I am really upset I didn't get my uh, sleeves out. So, um, yeah, hold on. I'm gonna make a quick cut, so I'm gonna grab my sleeves. All right, we're back, boys. We got it all sleeved up. They're looking really good. I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm really interested to see what these prices are. I'm like, I mean, you guys obviously know because I have it edited, but um, I have no idea what the prices are now. Um, I used to know, like, a little bit, vaguely, what these prices were going for, but I think now they're like, some are probably up, some are probably down. Um, let's try like, let's try doing that, see what happens. Fuck around and find out, I guess. Uh, Imperial Iron Wall, we got an Overload Fusion. There's our Super. Super Essence, Seep King, Colicamp, Nimble Angler, Song of the Thunder, Blackwing, and an Ancient Fairy Dragon. Not too mad about the Ancient Fairy Dragons, those are cool. What I do like about this collector set is that um, every card's rare. No commons at all, which is super fucking cool, I think. I'm uh, very happy about that, honestly. Um, we need to speed this up a little bit, though, so let's keep going. I don't know if I should even go for a pack trick. Let's do, like, 
four from the back. Try that, see what happens. Treacherous Trap Hole. This creepy little punk. It's the third one. Fuck. Okay. Gate Guardians combined. That's the big ol' retrain, though, so that's pretty sick. Uh, Dimension Capsule, Soul, Baryon Utopio, and Cost Down. I think what I want to do for this trick, I think I'm going to do three from the back, or four from the back, and then... I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. So, like, one, two, three. So, it's this one, and then let's go with, like, this one as well. Both of those. And maybe that should work? We'll see. Prey of the Jirai Gumo. Very cool. Hate losing to that in Weevil in uh, Forbidden Memories. On your market set duel. I fucked it up again, but it's okay. Sorry for that cut, guys. Um, I just finished that pack. My um, webcam had died, so... Uh, yeah, so we're back. Um, we had a jump cut there, uh, actually a couple hours um, ahead because my uh, face cam had, had died, webcam. Um, I'm not used to working with two cameras, so um, it had died real quick, so I let it charge up. I played some Dungeons and & Dragons and uh, ate some dinner, and now we're back to the opening. Um, very exciting stuff. Um, so where were we? We had recently just pulled a Baron de Fleur and everything. Um, now we got time to stand up. Red Eye Spirit, and another one of the Gate Guardians, which is pretty sick. We take those. Um, Shadow Ghoul, Dark Dark Trap Hole, and a Burger in Utopia. Awesome. Sick. So, yeah. Um, I did look up the price of that uh, Baron de Fleur, and I'm uh, surprised to find out that it is a uh, $50 card, which is pretty freaking exciting, not gonna lie. Um, I think that's pretty amazing. Um, so... We pulled one of the best cards in the set. Um, it is only second to its own collector's rare, so that's exciting. Um, I want to note right now that my, um, so let's do like this one and this one, just in case that's a different rarity. Um, anything that you see that I do pull, um, at least the supers and rares or anything basically over a dollar. Um, oh, there's the, Super rare, okay. Definitely fucked up that trick again. Um, Royal Decree, crazy card. Black Wing, Burial from a Different Dimension. Anything you see that's uh, rare or over a dollar or whatever will be up for sale on my TCG player. Um, I just started it, so I have no sales yet. But um, I do want to kinda, cause I don't like to have things, I guess. I don't like, I don't like to keep clutter, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna try to give away most of the stuff that I get and also just sell it on TCG player. But I also want to save some stuff for PCA, uh, PSA, not PCA, the fuck? Um, the PSA returns because I want to do some graded videos as well. Uh, I think that'd be really fun. Um, but yeah, I don't plan on like keeping anything in my own collection. Um, or well, I do plan to keep some things in my own collection, you know, certain starlights and certain high rarity stuff, but nothing too crazy. Um, Oh, that's, uh, yikes. That was <laughs> right to the hollow. Right to the hollow. Damn. I kind of given up on the pack trick. It's, uh, kind of not worth it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how it is. I don't know how to do it. So, um, but yeah, that first half of the pack was pretty quick. So I'm trying to, or was pretty long. So I'm trying to do this second half pretty quickly. Um, as to not, like, get stale, I guess. This creepy little punk. Evolution Endburst, Blackwing Kalut the Moon, Angel of Blue Tears, Soul of the Supreme King, Labyrinth Wall Shadow. Did we get a hollow from that pack? I don't think we did. Oh yeah, we did Evolution Endburst, duh. Um, don't know what that price is. I don't think we've pulled one of those yet, so... You guys will know I won't right now. Because um, I'm going to be posting up the... Uh, current prices and if like I said if it's uh, over anything over a dollar or whatever uh, will be up for sale on my TCG player maybe not right away but um, preferably probably before this video goes up actually now that I think about it uh, another gate guardians combined very cool card very weird that this isn't a collector's rare the only collector's rare in the set is the um, or the original gate guardian is a collector's rare um, there are other collector's rares in the set, but um, no, no Gate Guardian stuff is collector's rare, which is really odd, I feel like. Um, 
And the Gay Guardian Collector Driver isn't, isn't even that expensive. It's like $23 or something. At least that's the one I looked at. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but let's keep going. I'm very excited for this. I actually was about to just like say fuck it and pre... I was about to say screw it and just pre-order all of the um, 25th anniversary packs. Prey of Draguma, Ryuku Guardian, Evolution Endburst again. All right, well, that might be decent. Um, I was thinking about doing that, but we, um, it's, it's too much money right now. It is expensive, dude. These cards are expensive. The, um, each box in the 25th anniversary, so, like, it's, uh, Blue, Legend of Blue Eyes, it's Metal Raiders, Ferra, not Ferrana Guardian. No, Ferrana Guardian, I think it was after. So it's, it's the first five sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! So it's Spell Ruler, Invasion of Chaos, and, um... Federal Serpent, yeah. Um, each box is $75, which is insane. Because I think when, I think the originals, when they came out, uh, Time to Stand Up, Sui Jin, On Your Market Set Duel again, we'll take that. Shadow Ghoul, Court of Justice, Mech Knight, Red Moon, and Love and the Whole Shadow. Uh, I think when those sets first came out, I swear, like, those, um, they weren't that much. Like, you know, 50 bucks maybe? 45? Maybe less, I don't know. Either way, that's a lot. Um, my dog's feeling crazy in his cage. I have a dog, and you might be able to see, you can kind of see the cage in the face cam, but he's uh, in there so as to not uh, interrupt with the recordings. But, hey, I don't keep him in there very often, um, just for certain things. Ooh, there's the gate guardian, look at that guy. He's very cool, uh, very neat. Imperial wall, another Rowling Killings camp. I don't know if like, the collector's rares or anything take place of the super or what or how it works exactly, but I don't know. But let's keep going. We haven't pulled anything aside from uh, four four ultra rare. Have we done four ultra rares? Three or four ultra rares at this point? I think four. Yeah. Um, and then versus supers, no secrets or anything. Overlay network. That's a new one. We haven't pulled that yet. That's pretty cool. I don't even know. Wow. Shit. And then I'm just um, doing that. So yeah, I don't know. Very cool. I'm very into this so far. Um, let me know if you guys like this video or if you think this is going to be a really cool channel. Um, odds are you're probably not coming from my main channel, which is Studio Yuki, where I do like, I did do travel videos and like, um, you know, things like that, but I'm not sure how much farther I'm gonna take that. Uh, I do wanna post different kinds of co- Ooh, Labyrinth Heavy Tank, Labyrinth Heavy Tank. That's a sick rare, or super rare. Ooh, I like that, that's cool. That's very nice, hell yeah. Um, but I, I do wanna post more videos onto the main channel. I just don't know what I wanna do. It changes a lot. Like if you go through that channel's history, it's just like a bunch of random stuff, um, which I don't, typically like because I do like to have one focus. I feel like that's a lot more enjoyable to watch as a viewer because um, then you know what you're going to subscribe to, you know what you're getting. Um, so I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. But we are on our last Maze of Memories pack for this video. Um, very excited. Hopefully last pack magic. Give us the collector's rare. That would be incredible. Okay, here we go. Wait, I'm gonna try to do, well, no, fuck it. I'm not gonna try it. We're just gonna go for it. Overload Fusion. Prey of the Jiraigumo. Ooh, that's, um, Gate Guardian of Thunder and Wind. I don't think we've pulled one of these yet. So that's actually a really good end. Very good. Labyrinth Wall, come on. Chaos Form. Baryon Utopia and uh, Battle Mode joining so there they are that was all of the maze of memories packs in that box i do have one more box that i did pick up because i do really like this set um i picked it up so that i can do another maze of memories opening in the very near future um i'm not sure if i'm going to do it tonight um it's definitely not going to go up right after this because i want to kind of i don't want to do two maze of memories videos in a row um, but I do like the set, so I'm going to do this at some point. 
Um, I, might, I might open it tonight, but it won't go up next, so. Uh, next opening will most likely be um, one of the reprint sets, so LOB, uh, Metal Raiders, something like that. Um, but that is all for this episode. We did pull the beautiful, beautiful Baron de Fleur. Oh, so we only got three Ultras. So we got Baron de Fleur, Wind Up Kitten, Ricker Glimmer, and then the Super Solemn Judgment, which is a good super to pull. Um, only got one of those. So those are up for sale right now on the website. Um, TCG Player, Yuki Collects, um, if you're interested. Uh, I do want to start getting into giveaways. Um, giving away certain cards that I don't need or want. Um, but I'll more info on that later once I figure out how I want to work those. But I do appreciate you guys watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed my first uh, video. I'll see you guys in the next one.